Hey, welcome, welcome, and Merry Christmas. If you are new, my name is Priscilla, and in this video, I'm just going to give you a quick tour of my Christmas decor. It's, believe me, it's not that much, but I did work quite hard because I did not buy everything. I did a lot of stuff myself, and a lot of it is just natural greenery that I used. So come along as I show you and give you a little Christmas tour. So we'll start out here on the front porch and here is a chair that I had picked up at a thrift store and it was it was old and brown and I repainted it white and just made it and rubbed off some of the paint just to make it look old and I just liked the white look and I hung on some little black skates just to make it look uh, like winter and this thing actually I bought at a thrift shop I just thought it would look nice out here on the porch and then over here on the other side I just quickly made this welcome sign I painted this welcome on this sign uh, and this is just an old barn board um, that Joe has got for me I asked him for a piece of barn board and he brought it for me and I just painted this sign on here and then here I literally just went out into the woods and just grabbed a lot of greenery, a lot of old sticks, and some of this lichen, I believe that's what you call it, and uh, and just stuck it in here, just made it look festive, and I had this old uh, barrel that I had gotten at a yard sale one day. And of course I made this little wreath, and let's go inside, and I'll show you around. I got these things at a thrift store. I thought they were so beautiful, so I stuck them in here. We had gotten this thing at a yard sale, and somehow my husband put it up here on this uh, stone archway. I don't know how he did it, but he did it. He usually, usually if I ask him to do something, he figures out a way to do it. So I'm pretty blessed. And now down here, I just bought this little... Um, Great. I believe it was in Ross and I just love the saying it said Christmas begins with Christ and that is very true and so I just put some greenery in here and a little pop of red and here I have a little nativity scene these uh, they were all ha they were all different colors they had different color color clothing on but I went and painted the whole thing in ivory white because I just think it gives it a more clean and fresh look and uh, I literally bought this piece uh, in a yard sale a few years ago. And here my husband uh, just quickly cut me some little wood rounds and I glued on this um, a pine cone and just to make it look like a little pine tree and just snow sprayed it. And over here I have, I cut some fir branches and glued them on here for like little trees just to give it a very woodsy look. And up here is our uh, chandelier on top of our dining room table. And I just, I just put a lot of uh, fur on top of here. And I dried some oranges and hung them on here and just literally got the children to go outside and pick me some pine cones and hung up pine cones. So let's go into the kitchen. And up here I have another little scene. I had this this little this picture I had gotten at a yard sale a couple years ago and I just put some pine cones and fur around there and a little bit of twinkle lights. Now let's come in here and look at our um, snowman scene. I just created this quickly too. Just put this together. I got the snowman at a thrift store and just put some twinkle lights around there and a candle and the little let it snow sign and those pine cones and a little bit of, uh, uh, what do you call that, a bottle brush tree. And then just quickly over here and uh, by my canisters, I just quickly put a bottle brush tree and some pine cones just to make it look festive. And now let's go into the living room. So before we go into the living room, uh, I wanna show you these railings. Uh, these, my husband, just cut me a lot of fur. I think this is grand fur. It's a really nice fur. And I just, I just literally kind of twisted the branches around there 
and then I also tied it a little bit then I put some ribbon on it and these big nice big lights and I hung a few pine cones down I think it gives it a nice just a beautiful greenery Christmassy look and I put it all along here instead of buying a garland I just made my own kind of and then here I have some candles and this sign I made actually my husband did the uh, the frame the barn board frame he literally went out got barn wood and cut it to size for me and I did the inside and I just literally glued on some rope for this joy to the world I believe it's a joyous time of year so I wanted this sign I'm standing here in front of our Christmas tree and if you have watched some of our other videos we just put a video out about our Christmas tree so um, it's just a, it's a Douglas fir that we went out in the woods and got and it's not a perfect tree but we had a good time we did a lot of homemade ornaments on this tree so and we got our presents underneath there right now and then over here I have a little display I have this I found this uh, nice little sleigh just at our country store actually and then I just put in a tiny little presents to make it look cute and this tree I found at a thrift shop and it was not expensive because there's a branch back here that is not working but who can tell no one can tell unless they look very closely so I think I like this beside the fireplace and here is my mantle I love how my mantle turned out this garland I got at Shopco a few years ago and then I just added these baked oranges just hung them there with string and then I got those candlesticks I got them at a thrift store and then this sign my husband and I made again except for the lettering I bought the lettering at um, a place called if you have I'm sure some of you have seen her on YouTube already she is called the White Cottage Company and I got that lettering from her she made she has an Etsy shop so I got it from her so I don't have to do it and then my husband did the barn board frame and then those uh, pine trees those nice beautiful glittery pine trees I got in Ross so I think it turned out pretty nice and then over here I bought this piece at a thrift store again and just just kind of put a whole bunch of things together here some little twinkle lights in here and just gives it a nice festive look and now let's go over here to these shelves I just have a little sleigh here a little sign that says joy some ornaments in here and then up here I just have again a tiny little nativity scene with pine cone trees and a fir tree and a bottle brush tree and a candle make it look like a star <laughs> and then over here in my bay window I took all my plants that I had I took them downstairs and I went out and I cut some little trees and put them all in pots with a lot of little stones around them to keep them nicely and I Put a whole bunch of lights around we had this elk that we had for many years I put it here and then I just put a lot of little sticks and with lichen and some antlers and some pine cones and it made that little sign that said winter wonderland just I just wanted a, a wintry scene here on my bay window so that about wraps it up of my tour and but I really think it looks a lot prettier when it's dark outside the lights just shine brighter so if you keep watching I'm just going to do a quick tour uh, when it's dark outside so that you can see the lights better so thank you again so much for watching and I wish you a very Merry Christmas